Hey, so I'm on my way up to Algonquin Park yet again for a solo trip. I brought a whole bunch of warm clothes and gear. I have some new things to test out. And hopefully I'm catching the fall colors close to their peak. So the goal of this trip is just to see these colors, man. We've always missed it. Last year we came up on this weekend actually. I guess it would have been the same the last weekend of September. And all the leaves had fallen already. I guess we got one good cold snap and everything just took right off. I'm not sure if it shows up on film. The sun's not really out, but hopefully I can capture just how sweet it is for you guys. You've seen this paddle before, you've seen all the portages, how we walk through the Joel Lakes. Or, uh, sorry, the, the portages on the Little Joel and Baby Joel. So, I may not show a whole lot of that. Uh, we'll decide in editing. So, yeah, cue the montage. We usually walk the rivers here. Ah, we'll go for it. We'll go for it. We'll see what happens. <laughs> I'm barely moving. I can't stick my paddle deep in there. You know what? We're gonna get out. We gotta do one more. This time I'm gonna take this leg endings off. Okay. So as you can see, it's pretty fast. Pretty dang fast. Because I don't have water shoes, I'm gonna go real slow so I don't muck my feet right up. There's a lot of rocks in here and they are quite slippery. This is going to be interesting. Just trying to find the least slippery rocks or little crevices that I can stick my foot into. It's kind of like rock climbing with your feet. You're feeling around and trying to grip the rocks in the right way. Beauty. We did it. And uh, the next one you can't skip, it's a dam, but that was fun. Just finished the portage onto Burnt Island. So now I just gotta pick a campsite. And I think I know 
which I want to stay on. Getting quite wavy. So, most of my campsites were taken I'm about halfway on the lake. I'm trying to get just over there, parallel to the waves, of course. Be really careful. You know what? This canoe. Woo. There's so little. Uh, what is it? Free board between the gunnels and the and the water. Some of these waves are just taking me for a ride. Hey, if you come out here, you know, enjoy yourself, but clean up after yourself too. No one wants to see a bunch of trash on site and grimy, disgusting fucking toilet paper napkins and stuff. Oh my god, there's rain coming. Forget talking. I'm just gonna try to get to the site. <laughs> She's coming. She's coming. You can almost surf on the waves. Flying right now. This boat is fast. Who needs a yolk, am I right? Beautiful. It's gorgeous. Barely rain. Okay, so we're here. You may remember from my last solo trip. Brent Island Bistro, baby. Looks like uh, the wood reserves are all gone. There's, uh, there's some stuff here that's very damp, but we'll find some stuff. We'll find some things. Took a page out of uh, my friend John Luca's book, Grapes in the Nalgene. Works good. I don't know why I didn't think of this. Here's one good thing about fall trips. At night, it gets cold enough. That's basically a fridge. You can keep stuff way longer. That's why I brought meat. Meat.
So I almost always bring a bit of tinder or something. And I also keep <coughs> some garbage. Said I could light up the fire. It's the beauty of a canoe trip is you could bring almost whatever you want. As long as you're willing to portage it. for two. Oh yeah. Beautiful. We'll save one for tomorrow. I figured two was better for today. Because I actually put in work. So this is going back in the ziplock. Maybe like frosting a cake. Oh my god, I spoil myself, man. Look at that, that is ridiculous. Oh, buddy. I don't even think I could eat this shit. Holy cow, hold on here. We might have to do this like an open-faced hamburger. <laughs> <laughs> 